Queen Mary Donaldson sought to make a decisive statement following a vacation that raised eyebrows with her family, King Frederick Axe, and their children. When Frederick became the King of Denmark at 55, amidst a whirlwind of controversy last January, the spotlight intensified on his marriage to 52-year-old Mary Donaldson, especially after images surfaced of him with 47-year-old Genevieve Casanova during a visit to our nation. Despite their efforts to quash speculation with a January 14 proclamation, the royal couple has faced ongoing scrutiny, having rarely appeared together at official engagements since. Mary is now emphasizing her role and dedication by confirming her upcoming responsibilities as queen. The analysis of the couple's public interactions became meticulous following the leak of the controversial photos. Their coronation sought to address the whispers about their relationship crisis, notably with their iconic balcony kiss in front of Danish citizens eager to witness a pivotal moment in their country's history, following Queen Margaret's abdication the previous December at age 84. Denmark's Queen Mary's Unmistakable Message Attending an event in Germany solo, Mary watched the Danish handball team compete against France, a game that ended in a French victory. The demeanor of the Australian-born queen was closely watched, as she seemed notably subdued, which fueled further speculation. However, this appearance has been her last documented public engagement to date. On February 29, Mary is set to undertake her first official solo engagement as Denmark's monarch, as indicated in her schedule. The Rare Disease Organization announced on social media that Mary would attend the so-called Rare Day to present an award, though this engagement hasn't been officially listed in her agenda, her participation is highly anticipated. Meanwhile, Frederick's demeanor brings a sense of calm amid ongoing speculation about Mary's well-being and the couple's forthcoming official duties as they navigate through a period of reconciliation after spending quality time with their husband and children. This initiative is in line with the objectives of the Mary Foundation, aiming to foster inclusivity and a sense of belonging within society. Her involvement in this event seems far from coincidental, reflecting a deliberate and desired effort on her part. Furthermore, this engagement is expected to garner widespread support from the Danish public, reinforcing her esteemed position as queen. The Danish Royals' Contentious Holiday The news of the monarch's recent vacation came as a surprise, mainly due to its timing so soon after Frederick's ascension to the throne, as less than a month had passed. Choosing to disconnect for a few days, they took advantage of the winter school break to travel with their children. The family retreated to their Swiss Alps home, a chalet equipped with luxury amenities for a secluded stay. This property in Verbier, spanning 200 square meters with breathtaking views of the ski slopes, has been a family getaway where Frederick and Mary have previously enjoyed skiing with their children. This chalet, however, previously sparked debate when its rental price was disclosed, highlighting its exclusivity. The revelation led to public dismay, not over the property itself but over the lack of transparency regarding its financing, prompting the royals to clarify that it was purchased in 2009 with their private funds, independent of the Danish crown. Despite the initial controversy surrounding the cost and use of their Swiss chalet, the Danish royal couple's decision to spend private time away from the public eye underscored their commitment to family and personal time, separate from their official duties. This aspect of their life plays a crucial role in maintaining a balance between their responsibilities as monarchs and their personal well-being, reflecting a modern approach to royalty where personal space and family time are valued alongside public service. The scrutiny of the Danish royal family, particularly after the emergence of the photographs with Genevieve Casanova, has placed an unprecedented focus on their private lives, challenging them to navigate the fine line between public interest and personal privacy. The situation has been a test of their resilience and ability to manage public perception while adhering to their roles within the monarchy. Mary's upcoming solo engagement, her first as a monarch in Denmark, marks a significant step in reaffirming her commitment to her royal duties and her role as a figure of stability and continuity within the Danish monarchy. The Rare Day event, dedicated to raising awareness and supporting individuals with rare diseases, highlights the royal family's dedication to social and health-related causes. By choosing to participate in such an event, Queen Mary signals the monarchy's ongoing engagement with issues that affect the well-being of the Danish people and beyond. Her presence at the event, even though not officially listed in the royal agenda, demonstrates a proactive approach to her duties, focusing on areas where her influence can make a significant impact. 
As the Danish royal family continues to adapt to their evolving roles in a rapidly changing world, their actions and engagements reflect a broader trend among European monarchies towards more openness, social responsibility, and a focus on issues of public concern. The balance they strike between their public duties and private lives is closely watched and often seen as indicative of the monarchy's relevance in contemporary society. In navigating these challenges, King Frederick and Queen Mary have shown a keen awareness of the need to connect with the public in meaningful ways, whether through their involvement in social causes, their approach to raising their children, or their response to controversies. Their strategy appears to be one of transparency, engagement, and a commitment to their roles as not just symbols of the state but active participants in the life of their country. The forthcoming months and years will undoubtedly bring more opportunities for the royal couple to demonstrate their dedication to Denmark and its people. As they continue to undertake their official duties, both individually and together, their actions will serve as a testament to their adaptability, resilience, and unwavering commitment to serving the kingdom with dignity and integrity.